Now, let's turn our Bibles. Naomba, turudi kwa bibi ya zetu. Turn our Bibles this morning. Tufungwe you know bibi, our key scripture. Tufungwe bibi ya zetu wa subu ya leo. Tunajua uh, fungu letu ku. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. That is 2 Corinthians 4.1. Wa Corinthians wa pili, inne msaru wa kwanza. Kwa sababu hiyo, kwa kuwa tunahuduma hii, Kwa jinsi tulivyo pata rehema, hatulegei. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to speak on the diligence of this ministry. Nataka kuzungumza juu ya juhudi ya huduma hii. Amen. Amen. All the spirit of diligence in this ministry. Ama roho wa bidi, ama juhudi katika huduma hii. Because the success of your ministry Mana, kufaulu kwa huduma yako, can only be measured by your diligence. Kunaweza kupimwa kwa ile juhudi unaiweka ndani. Amen. Amen. Proverbs 22. Mithali 22. Verse 29. Mstari wa 29. Amen. Amen. Where there is no diligence. Pasipo na juhudi. There can be no success. Hakuwezi kuwa na kufaulu. Ministry deserves or demands diligence. Huduma yataka bidi. It demands commitment. Inataka kujitolea. It demands self-denial. Inataka ujitole na ujikane mwenyewe. It demands faithfulness. Inataka uaminifu. For you to make an impact kwa wewe ukaweze kuwa wa mgusko in your ministry katika huduma yako or in your career ama katika kazi yako or profession ama kwenye taaluma yako or in business kwenye biashara yako you need diligence unahitaji juhudi amen amen praise the lord bwana asifiwe you need diligence unahitaji juhudi the Bible says, Biblia inasema, Seest thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before mean men. J. Wamuona mutu mwenye bidi katika kazi yake, huyo atasimama mbele ya wafalme, hata simama mbele ya watu wasio na cheo. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wana sifiwe. The Bible says, Seest thou a man that is diligent in his business. Biblia inauliza, Je, umemuona mutu mwenye juhudi katika kazi yake. A man that is competent in his business. Mutu anaye alie na ujuzi wa kazi yake. Somebody mtu. that is determined in his business. Ambae amejitolea katika kazi zake. The Bible says, Biblia inasema, He shall stand before kings. Ata simama huyo mbele za wafalme. That means, He will succeed beyond the ordinary person. Hiyo inamana, ata faulu zaidi ya yule mtu wakai waida. Amen. Amen. He will succeed beyond the ordinary person. Ata faulu zaidi ya mtu wa kawaida. Because of his diligence. Kwa sababu ya juhudi zake. Amen. Amen. Because of his effort. Kwa sababu ya bidi ya naweka. The energy he has invested in what he is doing. Ile nguvu anayoweka kwa kile anafutofanya. Will make him to succeed. Ita mwezesha kufaulu. We are talking on the diligence of this ministry. Tunazungumza juu ya juhudi ya huduma hii. Which ministry? Huduma gani? This ministry of giving life. 
huduma ya kupeana uzima haleluya haleluya which ministry huduma ipi this ministry huduma hii of relo- relocating sinners from hell to heaven ya kuwaondoa wenye dhambi kutoka jahanamu na kuwaingiza mbinguni it demands diligence inataka juhudi no less man can do can can succeed in this ministry hakuna mtu asiyejuhudi ambaye atafaulu katika huduma hii amen amen a less man cannot succeed in this ministry mtu mvivu hawezi kufaulu kwenye huduma hii praise the lord bwana asifiwe i want all of you nataka sote pastors wachungaji and the delegates and the delegates that are here na wanaohudhuru kongamano wote that is, as you go to leave this place ya kwamba unavyoondoka mahali hapa catch the spirit of diligence shika roho wa juhudi catch the spirit of diligence shika roho wa juhudi if you catch the spirit of diligence ukishika roho wa juhudi your church will grow kanisa lako litakuwa your ministry will grow huduma yako itakuwa your business will expand biashara yako itapanuka you will not stand before mean men hautasimama mbele za watu wasio na you will stand before kings utasimama mbele za wafalme god will announce you mungu atakutangaza because of your diligence kwa sababu ya juhudi yako oh give the lord a mighty hand naomba mpe bwana makofi You see it's not only the anointing we need. Unajua hatuhitaji upako peke yake. To do ministry. Ili kufaulu kwenye huduma. To do missions. Kufaulu kwenye kazi ya We also need diligence. Tunahitaji pia juhudi. Where there is no diligence, popote pasipo na juhudi. Forget about success. Sahau kufaulu. Where there's no diligence, popote pasipo na bidii. Either in education, kama iwe ni katika elimu, forget about success. Sahau kufaulu. Amen. Amen. You need diligence. Wahitaji juhudi. Are you a missionary? Je, wewe ni missionary? Are you an evangelist? Je, wewe ni mwinjilist? in whatever capacity that god has called you to perform katika wadhifa wote ule ambao mungu amekuita na kukuingiza kuhudumu catch the spirit of diligence shika roho wa juhudi diligence is not a gift juhudi si kipawa it is a spirit ni roho you go to catch it ni mkamate hebu mpe yesu makofi amen Diligence juhudi tell your neighbor it's not a gift mwambie jirani si karama you cannot buy it from the shop hauwezi kununua dukani amen amen it is a spirit ni roho which you have to catch it ambaye lazima ukamate if you don't catch the spirit of diligence usipokamata manyakuwa roho wa juhudi ministry will be a burden to you huduma itakuwa mzigo kwako amen amen ministry huduma without the spirit of diligence pasipo juhudi it will be a problem to you itakuwa shida kwako Listen. Naomba sikiza. Listen. Sikiza. Ministry huduma is not second option after failing to secure a job from the market. Sio kitu mbadala unachofanya baada ya kukosa kazi kule kwenye kwenye ulimwengu. Ministry huduma is a divine calling by God. Ni wito mtakatifu kutoka kwa Bwana. It's a call. Ni wito And we have some people na tuna watu who have jumped to ministry ambao walirukia tu wakaingia huduma because they failed to find a job mana in the world market walishindwa kuipata kazi pale ulimwenguni now ministry 
Sasa huduma is not second option. Si uh, ka, si chaguo la pili. Ministry huduma is not second option. Si chaguo la pili. After you fail from your business, eti kweli biashara yako ilikataa kwenda kufanya kazi. So you jump into ministry. Sema eh hey, wacha ningie huduma sasa. You will be frustrated. Utapata dhiki. You will be frustrated. Uta utashindwa. Ministry. Huduma is hard work. Ni kazi nzito. It is hard work. Ni kazi nzito. You need to be diligent. Lazima uweke juhudi. You have to invest your energy. Lazima uwekeze bidii yako. Invest your time. Uwekeze wakati wako. Invest everything about you. Wekeza kila kitu kinachokuhusu wewe. Then you can succeed. Kisha utafaulu. I said the success of your ministry. Nalisema kufaulu kwa huduma yako can only be determined by how much you are diligent. Kunaweza kutegemea sana that ministry. Ni juhudi gani unaweka kwenye huduma hiyo? How diligent are you? Unaweka bidii gani? How much diligent are you putting in that ministry? Je, yeah. umeweka juhudi ipi kwenye huduma hiyo? If it is singing, kama ni kuimba, you demand diligence. Ina inakulazimu uweke bidii. You have to deny yourself your pleasure. Lazima ujikane na starehe so that you can invest in ministry. Ili uwekeze kwenye huduma. Oh, give the Lord a mighty. Mpe bwana makofi. Sees thou a man diligent in his business. Je, umemwona mtu mwenye juhudi kwa kazi zake? Where Why is there no advancement? Kwa nini hakuna kwenda mbele? Why? Kwa nini? Can't you ask yourself? Hata uwezi kujiuliza. Which demons are these which are re resisting me not to advance? Kwani ni mapepo yapi haya yanayonizuia nisisonge mbele? And some demons na mapepo mengine you could be saying they are from this village unaweza ukasema yanatoka kwa jiji hiki but they could be coming from your family lakini yanaweza kuwa yametoka kwa ukoo wenu they are resisting you in ministry wanakuzuia kutoka ukoo wenu aomba unisikilize it's not me kindly listen to me si mimi it's not me si mimi i've served for a few years in the ministry Nina miaka ya kuhesabu katika huduma and i know nami najua what is diligence juhudi ni kitu gani and what is laziness na najua uvifu what is nini. playing games najua kucheza michezo ya kidini ni nini i know ninajua did he really call you yani alikuita kwa kweli 10 years miaka kumi struggling bado unangangana with two members na washirika wawili 10 years miaka 10 you are still in the kiosk bado uko kwa kiosk selling some 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 handful pieces of bananas unauza miaka 10 unauza ndizi za kuhesabu can you think outside the box yani wewe hauwezi kuwasa nje ya mtindo wako wa kawaida. Can't you think outside the box? Je, hauwezi kuwasa nje ya mawazo yako ya kawaida? If there is no advancement, kama hakuna ongezeko, no progress, hakuna kwenda mbele. Why don't you turn to something else and do? Kwani usigeuzi usigeukie kitu kingine kufa? Why should you die? La kwa nini lazima ufe hapo? My dear viewer, wewe mtazamaji wangu, the spirit of diligence. Come hata roho wa juhudi. Stop being lazy. Wachana na uvivu. Stop being sluggish. Wacha uvivu. Amen. Amen. All 
Bill was blaming the devil. Kila wakati unamlaumu shetani. Blaming the devil. You know unajua the devil shetani you know unajua he did this alifanya hiki the devil shetani the witches warogi wa listen nisikize the one in you yule aliye ndani mwako is greater than the witches and the mkuu kushinda wachawi na warogi i want you to arise nataka uinuke and stop fainting na usianze kusimia tena and invest in ministry ukawekeze kwenye huduma with a higher gain na kaya ya juu listen nisikize there is no automatic success Hakuna success inayokuja bwerere even in ministry hata katika huduma if you jumped in ministry because you thought there is automatic success kama ulirukia huduma ukidhani utafaulu bwerere oh i see the apostle driving namuona mtume siku hizi anaendesha oh oh i see the bishops hata maaskofu na they are driving wanaendesha listen nisikize There's no success that is automatic. Hakuna kufaulu kunakokuja kwenyewe kwenyewe. Either in education, in ministry, in business, Iwe in ni... whatever you are doing, there's no automatic success. Iwe ni kwenye elimu ama masomo, kwenye biashara, kwenye huduma, hakuna kitu kinachokuja chenyewe chenyewe. You need the spirit of diligence unahitaji roho wa juhudi be diligent weka juhudi be diligent weka juhudi in whatever you are doing chochote kile unachokifanya be diligent weka juhudi stop fainting wacha kusimia stop losing courage wacha kuvunjika moyo be diligent weka juhudi be diligent weka juhudi when you put diligence ukiweka juhudi you will stand before king wewe utasimama mbele ya mfalme you will stand before honorable people mtasimama mbele ya watu wa kawaida amen amen you cannot get to where you want to go Hawezi kufika kule unakotamani kwenda in ministry katika huduma without diligence pasipo bidii Amen Amen By the grace of God kwa neema ya Mungu we are where we are today tuko pale tuliko leo and not something to boast of na si kitu cha kujivunia hiki it is by his grace ni kwa neema yake Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Were you really called in ministry? Nauliza, hivi kweli wewe uliitwa kwenye huduma? How many are comfortable the way their churches are? Pastors. Ni wangapi wachungaji mlioko hapa muna mumeridhika kabisa vile makanisa yenu yalivyo? You are saying ah. Unasema ah. You are comfortable. Hata mimi ah nashukuru. No pastor is comfortable. Hakuna mchungaji anayefika hapo bado. Then listen. Basi sikiza. You need to do something. Unahitaji ufanye kitu. You need to do something. Unahitajika ufanye kitu. Lest you become Is, another person. Isije ukawa kama fulani. A craft person. Mtu mjanja mjanja. Nakwambia kweli mimi. I'm telling you the truth. Maana ukishindwa because if you are defeated na hutaki kutoa tai and you don't want to remove your pastor because you're still a pastor na sima huna you have no food you have no food <laughs> sasa bado kutapeli watu so you begin to con some people utaanza kuandika ho You begin to text. Unajua huku unaanza kutuma text. You send text you messages. You send text messages. Unatuma uh, jumbe fupi. Text messages. Jumbe 
za uongo so that people can contribute money to you ili watu wakuchangie shindwa katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu you need that spirit of diligence unahitaji roho wa juhudi amen 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 how many business people ni are biashara. comfortable with the level they are ni wana biashara wangapi mmeridhika na kiwango mlicho kwenye biashara how many ni wangapi wewe umeridhika haya aha where you are yet you need more hapo ulipo tena unasema unataka zaidi eh at yeah. that level yet you need more level hiyo yako tena unasema bado how many need more ni wangapi wanataka zaidi they need to go to the next level sasa unahitaji uende kiwango kingine what time does a successful businessman wake up kwani hufi mwanabiashara anayefaulu huamka saa ngapi sometimes as we come out of kesha wakati mwingine tunapotoka kesha we find business people by 4:30 They already going Tuna to Congo. Tunawakuta wanabiashara shupavu saa 10:30 tayari wanataka kuvuka. You you are still sleeping. Wewe bado umejinyosha. Pasta. Mchungaji. Pasta. Mchungaji. Hey! 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 Amen. Amen. Every listener should die. Kila uvivu ufe. And never to resurrect again. Wala usisufufuke tena maisha. My dear viewer, wewe mtazamaji wangu, you cannot get to the next level. Hauwezi kwenda kwa ngazi ya pili. Either in ministry, iwe ni kwenye huduma, or in business, ama kwenye biashara, until you apply the spirit of diligence. Paka utakavyoweka roho wa juhudi, more diligence. Juhudi zaidi is needed for you to go to the Inahitajika kwa kwa wewe kuenda ngazi inayofuata Amen Amen Now if business people sasa kama wana biashara they need diligence to succeed wanahitaji waweke juhudi ndivyo wafaulu kwenye biashara zao What about ministry Itakuwaje na huduma What about missions? Ye, yeah, na kazi ya utume? What about it? Itakuwaje na kazi hiyo? So, ministry, hivyo huduma is not a second option. Sio chaguo la pili. After failing to secure a job in the market. Baada ya kukosa kazi hapo ulimwenguni. Listen, nisikize. There is no future. Hakuna siku za usoni zilizo nzuri for any lazy minister. Kwa muhuduma yeyote aliyemzembe. There is no future. Hakuna uh, mwele, siku za usoni zilizo nzuri for any lazy business person. Kwa kila mwanabiashara mvivu. For any lazy student. Kwa kila mwanafunzi mvivu. Who is fainting all the time? Kila wakati anasimia. There's no future for that student. Hakuna hatima nzuri na mtu huyo. There's no success for that person. Hakuna kufaulu kwa mtu kama huyo. There's no bright days for that person. Wala hakuna siku njema za mtu huyo. If you want to enjoy bright days tomorrow. Kama unazitaka siku njema za siku za usoni. Catch the spirit of diligence mata roho wa juhudi and invest your life wekeza maisha yako your energy nguvu zako your time muda wako your thinking kuwaza kwako in what you are doing katika kile unachokifanya get tired usinywe with the level you have been operating na kiwango kile ambacho umekuwa in business kazi. in ministry in missions katika huduma katika biashara katika utume mkuu sit down and think keti chini na uwaze what must i do 
Kwani hivi? Ninalazimika kufanya nini? That I may break this stagnation. Ili ni kukwama huku and go forward. Ili ni songe mele. Si yes, thou a man diligent in his business, Je. he shall stand before kings, he shall not stand before many men. Je, wamuona mtu mwenye bidii katika kazi zake, huyo atasimama mbele za wafalme wala hatasimama mbele za watu wasio na cheo. There is no future for a fainting minister. Hakuna siku za usoni zizo njema kwa huduma anayezimia. Without diligence, pasipa juhudi. Ministry is impossible. Huduma haitawezekana. Without diligence, pasipo juhudi. You cannot make a great impact in ministry. Hauwezi kuwa na upenyo mkubwa katika huduma. Every greatness, kila every greatness, kila ukuu has a price to pay. Una gharama ya kulipa. Yaani hiyo mmeikosa poleni. Poleni. Every greatness, kila ukuu has a price to pay. Ina gharama yake ya kulipa. You cannot be great for nothing. Hauwezi kuwa mkuu kwa kutofanya chochote. There must have been a price you have paid. Lazima kuwe na gharama uliolipa for you to be at the top. Kwa kwa wewe kwenda pale juu. For you to be at the top. Kwa wewe kwenda pale ngazi ya juu. You can give the Lord a good hand. Unaweza ukampa Bwana makofi bora kuliko hayo. Amen. Amen. Sluggish people watu wavivu cannot succeed in anything they do hawawezi kufaulu kwa chochote wanachofanya even in marriage hata katika ndoa you see them having a problem utaona bado wako na shida it's the wife who feeds them ni mke ndiye anayewatafutia chakula they are housed by the wife. Wanawekwa kinyumba na mke. The wife pays the house rent. Mke ndiye anailipia nyumba ile wanaokaa. He buys the the kitchen spoons. Mke ndiye anainua vijiko vya pale jikoni. He he buys the bed and the mattress. Mke ndiye alinunua kitanda na hata ile godoro wanaolalia. The wife does everything. Muke anafanya kila kitu. The husband only knows how to sleep. Ile jamaa ajiwa kuja na kujinyosha kujibwaga kwenye godoro. I don't know why you have never kicked him out of that house. Sijui kwa nini hujamfukuza mtu kama huyu to go and look for kibarua. Aende kutafuta kibarua. Atafute akabangaize kibarua in kongowea pale kongowea <laughs> or at ferry ama aende ferry asukume mikokoteni get him out of the bed mfukuze inapofika asubuhi if he can't buy a bundle of flour he can at least bring two packets kama ni kweli hawezi kununua bandali basi sialete mifuko miwili that can save the, the situation of the man. Hiyo inaweza. So get him out. Fukuza huyo. Amen. Amen. I hope that husband is not here. Natumai. Bwana kama huyo. Mume wa mtu kama huyo hayupo hapa katika. Moto umeshana richo mimi